Crochet cruise number eight. You're all here with us. Y'all took a chance on a really long vacation. <laughs> 18 months it takes to plan a crochet cruise with us for the concept of getting permission for marine safety, the security on board, the captain, the organizers here that make it all happen. 18 months is what it takes to get you here today. We started our journey about a few days in, in California, try to knock that jet lag out of us. Debbie was our first one to come into the group. Thank you for breakfast that first morning. It was wonderful. And just having that two hours with you, I realized that we're going to have 72 more people. Thank God you're not all like me. <laughs> two more people to spend two weeks of my lifetime with you all good morning to you good morning to you how are you today we hope you are fine we hope you are fine and have a happy day you have no idea what it means to us did you to do something like this then more cruisers started arriving we have anita I learned way too much from Anita. <laughs> she comes with this pecker thing. You'll see it on the group page too. <laughs> we all had a chance to swing the ball and make those peckers peck. Oh, yeah. Did you miss it? Yeah. There's my pecking chickens. <laughs> We made our way to the terminal, <coughs> coming to the ship, and I thought our dear friend Victor was going to actually miss our cruise. <coughs> we kept on, uh, we, you won't believe how many, we never talked to you about this, but a lot of us were on our phone waiting for you. But it's that fear of community that brings us together that we don't want to leave anybody behind here. Thanks for waiting. <laughs> By the time we see him, he was already sucking back on a drink. <laughs> I was here well the whole time. <laughs> okay, and welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. We got off to a very rocky start on open tonight here. Oh boy, did we ever. From Daniel blowing out his eyeballs and lungs and feeding that toilet upstairs. He was hugging. Not just him, I got some great photos that night. And video. I think Devorah was hit to her hardest. And I will say something to you. I thought our cruise was ruined that night. Because 18 months. And to see half of our crew ill and hugging those balls. <laughs> they wish that they hadn't had that clam, clam chatter earlier. <laughs> Only to hear one more time. <laughs> volunteers. We had a lot of volunteers on this cruise. We wanted to make sure that you were included. I need volunteers. I need a picker and a, and a giver. There's never a you don't have to ask people twice. Here, we are truly a community. That night, opening night, we had a box missing. Can I just say this? I really thought, because of the history of, of people feeling entitled, that because we had missed a box and that some of you were not going to get some of your books right away, not once did I get anybody complaining, and I'm so happy about that. And thank you, because we tried our best, and you know, with, whether it was SpinRight or Yarnsprays.com coming through, it was amazing what Daniel was able to accomplish by working Hi, together stranger. to get those boxes over to Honolulu with you. <laughs> this journey for me is very much like comfort and joy. 
And the comfort comes not just from providing this fabulous space for you, but the comfort <coughs> comes for the return cruisers who already know how we operate on a crochet cruise. To know when they can sit back and chill out and make their own living room here on board. Because I have to tell you, like the first year that we did this, everybody, including us, was new to the crochet cruise. You're not sure what to do with yourself, but those return cruisers, they have a reunion within themselves and coming back, but they open their arms to new people. And I have to say that living room downstairs was the most fabulous thing. If I don't hear another squeaking chair in my life, <laughs> that is like the most sickening sound I've ever heard. But the most wonderful thing about that is that when there was opportunity for free chairs to come available, we all <laughs> and we made those we made those chairs come back and uh, to allow more people into our circle. That was a unity circle in my my opinion. That was a community circle where everybody had an equal part of that. So I heard last night, lady on a scooter, pardon anybody on a scooter. There's Dan in the day of chairs. Helen, you, you came with your own. <laughs> But were we stealing the chairs? We were creating the community environment and we found somewhere comfortable to sit on the ship. Because when you cruise by yourself, you tend to jump from chair to chair to chair to find where you're supposed to be in the community. And we move around the ship until you find that cozy little spot when you're traveling by yourself. Now I was talking to Diane a couple days ago and she says, I don't think I could ever travel without a group in the future. Myself, Daniel, and I, we actually do uh, cruising by ourselves. We do maybe one a year. And it is so difficult to come onto a ship when there's no crocheters on board. We have no idea. And for us, we try to find people on the ship that connect with us, but not through the crochet, but through elements. And it is so terribly difficult that in a ship of three to 5,000 people, you can still be sitting by yourself and nobody talking to you as you pass by. And when you travel alone, that's what you get. So if you're here, when we came down into the living room, come on in! Says Anita, it's always room for more! You know. Yes. <laughs> but it was a wonderful opportunity to really be able to share that with you. The community isn't myself standing in front of a room. The community isn't myself just on YouTube and teaching and trying to interact with as many with you as possible on Facebook. The community is you. You are what you put into a community. So if you want to lean over and teach something, a part of you is now going to go, Diane taught corner to corner. I know a lot of you leaned over and gave a helpful tip throughout the cruise. A piece of you is going to be traveling with these people for the rest of their lives. Community is what you put into it. And that is just most amazing thing and yet we provide the we provide the form to do it but it's up to you to walk through the door and I think that anything that we should be most proud of is that you came here with an open mind to meet new people and you were able to make the connections that you did and I think that's absolutely wonderful so be, you became your own mentors I said that right on the first day is that your teacher will most likely be sitting at your table I can't imagine not looking at a table and seeing that conversation going, and it is so amazing. It's like, yeah, well, you wouldn't believe what I got or what I do. Oh, you should do a slip stitch there. And then they keep on going, <laughs> and we teach each other. And even the spouses that came, that were not part of it, right here in the front, you we were very supportive of Jennifer, by the way. It's very encouraging. We have the young man up in the front. But the spouses that have come along are also being a part of it in some ways. They're joining us with our wacky conversations at the dinner table. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a crochet cruise where we've laughed so much. Have we had not laughed or have we not laughed? <laughs> we have totally laughed on this to the point of, of squealing like little schoolgirls. <laughs> oh, you won't believe that. Snorting. And snorting, there was Julie. <laughs> what I saw here, this week, in the last two weeks, it's, it's hard to believe it's been two weeks, is that our Disneyland trip is now coming to an end. We have to go back to reality. I know, I know. 
but it has been a wonderful opportunity to, for these two weeks, to let that garbage that's happening out on the mainland and not let it impact on our community. I had so I would turn on the news last night. I couldn't turn it off because it's like a sickness just to watch that crowd. But it has been a wonderful opportunity to be able to connect. And I think that we all connected with each other. We had compassion, we had empathy, we had acceptance within this group. And for those that return in the future, you are, are going to be our return cruisers in the future that know how we operate to create that ambiance for the new people that would come on and welcome those new people with arms. My hardest moment, the crochet cruise, this one, is that we had planned to do a volcano trip with a whack of you. Whack means maybe just don't know what it is. Just so you know don't email me what it is, that's what it means. <laughs> you ever been a kid? You ready to go to that, that fairground? You got your ticket and there's not enough room for you in the bus? <clears throat> that was my most heartbreaking moment I think I've had in a long time. And I peeked into each bus, say, grab some photos for me. My God, I couldn't stop my bottom from crying. It was just such a heartbroken moment for me, the promising that I could go, and I felt like I had let down most of you that were on those buses for not honoring my word to be on that bus. We missed you. We missed you. But on board, there were still crocheters. Ran into Anita after we found that continent's pad in the hot tub. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I said, whatever you do, girl, don't go in that hot tub. <laughs> Nope, all the water's getting sucked into that thing. So, <laughs> it, was, it was nasty. We ran into, and I came back to sit with Anita and she was gone. And uh, she doesn't know this. And I ran back and I grabbed my beer and my thing, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna have an afternoon with Anita and Kyle. And they were gone. So I was like, oh my God, this day's gonna suck. My boss leaves without me. And the girls that I kind of wanted to sit with through the afternoon and just watch the whales jump was gone. But two other crocheters, Patty and Jennifer, right here in the front, just kind of happened to find our way. And we had two hours of maybe even three of conversation, of hooking, and just sitting on the back of the ship reflecting. Thank you. You made me feel included, and I was so grateful for the opportunity for that to hang out with you. So as much as you think in this room that other people in the tables have their shit together, we all have our stories, we all have our baggage, and we all have a connection with each other in some way. Life is going to get hard once we get off the ship again. Life on the mainland, from what I'm seeing, is not so much fun. So you have to take a piece of what this freedom feels like on the ship at this moment without all that garbage out in your mind and take it forward and realize that your story may be unique but there's somebody else that's probably gone through the same thing and I think there's been so much sharing on board this ship of people that you would never think that you would have something to come with Jennifer is a great example she hates people <laughs> she hates crowds she hates lines that's kind of the most engaging smile. Uh, there is my screamer of the crochet cruise. <laughs> yes, you'll see that in videos too. She's the only one screaming. And uh, this wonderful Rosemary exercise. Where is Rosemary? Rosemary's not here. Rosemary's the one she's holding her hands up for two seconds. Oh, that's exhausting. I need lunch. <laughs> 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 kind of crazy. We spent a lot of time with Penny this this cruise. Oh my God, she had no idea what was coming at her when we were with Walter on the bus. And she goes, Oh my God, I don't know these people because Joyce was getting all fresh in the back seat. It was a bumpy ride. She's grabbing on anything that she could grab. <laughs> Julie, you have been my kicker and laugher. Stop it! Just stop it! In your Smoking area last night, we were having our, one of our final suppers here, and we could hear you laughing. And I said, oh my god, we know her. <laughs> Quick turn, get the plate, get the plate. And there she comes down and says, hello, darlings. Yeah. 
My troublemakers from Arizona. You need a shirt that says, I heard the troublemakers from Arizona. Next time. Next time. I love your connection that you have with each other. Keep that. Your life is really short. It's really crazy. Connie? Yeah. You're like the, you're like my mom of the cruise. <laughs> I know. You're like my mom of the cruise. Yeah, especially when your mom and you win the twist yeah. contest. So we won the twist con contest. <laughs> yeah. 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 It does it, it does help when she grabs my belt buckle from behind and says, "I need to ride, you boy. I need to be a go-go dancer." <laughs> and suddenly we're in the competition. <laughs> I knew you were gonna try to explain that one. She's like my mom with the curse. <laughs> Except for when she doesn't win a raffle. Let me tell you. I love you long, long time, but I got a suggestion. You need to pick better. <laughs> <laughs> Janice, it was lovely to see you again. Fight your way through that diagram. I thought you were gonna wring my neck a little bit. Thank you. Yes, and you know what it took? It was other people here that really stepped up to help you. We had the friendly faces. We have Susan. One of the best smilers of the house, except for before 10 o'clock. You kind of learn people's things. And it's just a wonderful Tammy and Colleen, beautiful sister friendship that you both share. And it was wonderful. And you both look lovely on Allegan, right? Not that you don't work with what we have did, but yeah, yeah. But you're just wonderful. And Eileen, you're the quiet one of the bunch right there. And thank you so much for stepping up for the entourage. So you can see for us, it was a community here on board. You each made a difference in some way. So what I'm going to do is pass it over to Dan.